Hey y'all, this week we're making a homemade caramel sauce. All right, slow cooker style. So all you need is a slow cooker and condensed milk and then you're ready to go. All right, I'm using the slow cooker setting on the Instant Pot because that's what I have. Um, it's all in one, so why not use it? All right, so we're gonna start off by just taking the, um, the paper off of the condensed milk cans and then we're ready to go and go ahead and put them in the um, Instant Pot. And you wanna go ahead and remove as much paper as you can. Whatever you can't remove is okay. You don't have to struggle with it. It'll come off while it's cooking. Okay, so I'm showing you all the slow cook setting on my Instant Pot. It's right here on the bottom right. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the lid off. I have a little wire rack that's inside the Instant Pot and I'm going to go ahead and set the cans on top of it. If you have one, you want to use it because it will prevent you from staining the bottom of your Instant Pot or your slow cooker. Okay, so you can see how they're in here just placed right in the Instant Pot. They sit in there just fine on the rack. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and add our water. So you want to keep adding water until you have a good amount of water covering the cans. And you see it tilted a little bit. It's easily adjustable. So you can see they don't start, um, they do shift, but they don't start floating in the, um, in the Instant Pot or your slow cooker. So just make sure that they're covered with water and you're good to go, okay? So I'll add in a little bit more water just so there's a little um, wiggle room. The water didn't really evaporate in the Instant Pot, but it may in your slow cooker, um, in a traditional slow cooker. So there's a little spigot, I just moved it to the front in the end, I didn't need to um, release the steam, so it's fine. So I'm gonna put it on the slow cook setting and I'm gonna put it on there for eight hours. So this is one of those things, you know, you want to just set it and forget it. You can go about your day if you feel comfortable uh, leaving it and taking care of things that you can do that. Um, but it's real easy. Just set eight hours and then here we're at our last minute. You can see it, but um, you wanna go ahead and take the top off. This is eight hours later. We're gonna go ahead and remove our cans from our Instant Pot immediately. So you can just use a pair of tongs to go ahead and remove your cans from the slow cooker or your Instant Pot. And you wanna make sure that you go ahead and dry the cans before um, you place them or you, before you leave them in your dish. And it ended up getting pretty late, so I went ahead and um, left mine to cool overnight. It's completely fine, as long as that you don't open the cans. Now, if you wanna go ahead and open the cans um, sooner than that, once say the cans become warm to touch, you can go ahead and open them. But keep in mind, after you have opened them and your caramel is cool, you wanna go ahead and refrigerate it how it looks the next morning all right so it's like nice and firm in the can so I'm gonna show you all the other one and then I'll go ahead and put it in a bowl so you can see how it looks when it's coming out of the can now it's like perfect color look at that caramel nice and pretty and brown okay so you just want to go ahead and you know just spoon it out of your can and go ahead and put it in a bowl Otherwise, you can put it in, you know, um, a Tupperware container or you can put it in a mason jar if you want to store it like that, just to give you all a few ideas. And y'all stay tuned for next week's video because I'm going to show you all a homemade recipe to make with this caramel. All right. Here's the caramel after it's been spilled into the bowl. And then what I went ahead and did is heated it for about two minutes. It's not super smooth after two minutes. This is a lot of caramel to heat. So you can wanna heat it a little bit longer if you want it smoother. And y'all, that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please like it, share it, subscribe to our channel, and we'll catch you next time.